we're not talking about business as usual this is unusual this is powers of the world to come the powers of the world to come are unusual the powers of the world to come that I'm partaking of actively with the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying the words my name is Andrew Hemstrap thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us business as usual isn't going to cut it anymore and it isn't going to work anymore a lot of it hasn't worked anyways but you're required to walk in a new a new manifestation of the spirit everybody wants to walk in the old we can't stay in the old anymore we have to go to the new and welcome that's where we're going but we have something better that we can walk in right now Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 arise shine for thy light is come the glory of the Lord is risen upon who upon thee well you you better know who the Lord is in the earth today he's the Holy Ghost and it's his glory that's rising upon thee for behold the darkness shall cover the earth oh and gross darkness that's disgusting gross darkness the people but the Lord say the Lord the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee so you're obviously a little bit different than the other people who are just frankly gross and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together they come to thee so they're in darkness and they're gross but they see the glory on thee on you and they are attracted to you say they're attracted to me they come to me verse 5 then thou shalt see so up until that point you really weren't seeing and that's what I'm gonna be talking about today there needs to become you uh, you seeing something that you haven't seen before if you're gonna walk in a place that you haven't walked before you need to see something you haven't seen before and I'm here to help then thou shalt see then meaning until then thou wasn't seeing you might have been gross listen there are a lot of things that the Holy Ghost has not been able to get across to you he said there are a lot of things I've kept hidden from most people now a lot of people don't like that but I'm telling you there are a lot of things that the Holy Ghost has kept hidden has kept secret from most people say from most people what does that mean well that would mean most people meaning there's very few people who are where we're going to be talking about today but that's where we're going doesn't that make you happy there are a lot of things say things I've kept secret or hidden from most people specifically those who are not behind the veil meaning they haven't had the veil taken away so all of those things are hidden part of my job is to get you behind the veil so you can start seeing these things and walking in them and stop being gross John chapter 16 verse 12 I have yet many things say many things many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now and I'm telling you even today there are many things that a lot of people can't bear you can't take them there because they're, they just blow their blow their mind 
I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Verse 13, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come? He cannot bear them now, but when he comes. Say, when he comes. Who is he? He is the Holy Ghost, and we are in the day when the Holy Ghost has come, and he is God and when we receive him as such we are able to bear things that these people couldn't bear and even many others today can't bear because you can't bear them without him he does this make sense you bear them with he without he you don't bear them which means part of the veil that's taken away is understanding who he is because it's through having he the Holy Ghost that you're able to bear things that are new behind the veil when he the Holy Ghost who is God shall come you will be able to bear can I bear it without him no I can't know it without him I can't understand it without him I can't bear it without him I can't bear it then shall they see says the Spirit of God then shall they know when he is come you have to receive he the Holy Ghost for who he is before you shall see before you shall know second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away now the Lord is that spirit verse 17 the veil has been taken away in verse 16 he was talking about taking the veil away verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit is Lord there is Liberty a type of Liberty that you can't have without knowing the Holy Ghost as Lord well, the fact is you don't know what you don't know if there's a veil there and it hasn't been taken away you think you know what's behind the veil but I guarantee you you don't you don't know what you don't know we'll see if we can take that veil off then you will see then you will know Hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on which means you're going on you're not staying put you're moving say I'm moving I'm going in a direction I'm going on to something let us go on unto perfection verse 4 those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost now let's just stop right here that word partaker literally means to be an active partner with say an active partner with who are you an active partner with Holy Ghost tasted of the heavenly gift and are made an active partner with the Holy Ghost partnering in what partnering in, in whatever he's doing in the earth meaning you've come behind that veil to see for him for who he is and now are actively partaking or being a partner with him in the earth verse 5 and have tasted of the good word of God and of the powers of the world to come so if I'm an active partner in verse 4 with the Holy Ghost I then taste of the good word of God and the powers of the world to come now the world to come would be the world in the future you could even consider that being heaven everybody goes oh heaven is your eternal home well that's the place of those powers that we're talking about so I'm an active partner with the Holy Ghost 
in the word of god and the powers of the world to come now this is important because we're, we're not talking about business as usual this is unusual this is powers of the world to come say powers of the world to come are unusual they're not business as usual it's not Christianity as usual they're powers of the world to come that I'm partaking of actively with the Holy Ghost in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then and on the seventh day he rested and so everything basically in this realm in this world was finished and completed at that time you understand but creation in the heavens didn't stop creation in the heavens creation in heaven itself never ceased even science itself says that you know the light just keeps going the universe is expanding so in the heavens it just keeps going please hear me creation didn't cease in heaven say this in heaven creation didn't cease meaning it's still going on today now we said we're partakers partners with the Holy Ghost in the Word of God and the powers of the world to come well the part of the power of the world to come is the power of continued creation it's still creating so there's still new things being created in heaven more angels are, can be made many angels as you need new property new land I'm telling you please get this in heaven creation didn't stop it's still happening now let's look into this let's see if we can find a window into this say a window Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now herewith saith the Lord of hosts or the Lord of Spirits who would the Lord of Spirits be the Holy Ghost if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it because it's been it's being created in heaven and is going to be poured out I will pour you out where's he pouring it out he's pouring it out into the earth you understand so we have a, a miraculous working taking place in heaven that's gonna pour out into the earth and how what's the function what's the what's the vehicle for this happening is the tithe when you bring the tithe in it opens up the windows of heaven so that he's able to take that miraculous miracle working power the working of miracles and do something in your financial situation does this make sense but we're talking about a power of the world to come a power of creation that didn't stop it's still going on so he's going to open up a window of heaven a window into heaven where creation never ceased and pour it out on the earth for you so we're talking about in this instance a working of miracles a creative power a creative force working a miracle Luke chapter 9 verse 12 and when the day began to wear away then came the twelve and said unto him send the multitude away that they may go into the towns and the country round about and lodge and get victuals verse 13 but he said unto them give ye them to eat and they said we have no more but five loaves and two fishes verse 14 for they were about five thousand men and he said to his disciples make them sit down by fifties in a company verse 16 then he took the five loaves and two fishes and looking up to heaven you can you can interpret that they use that same word into heaven and looking up to heaven or into heaven he blessed them and break and gave the disciples to set before the multitude 
and they did eat and were all filled my point here is Jesus knew a power of the world to come we would classify this the working of miracles you understand but he looked up to where the multiplication could take place because creation had not ceased is this making sense so he reached up and he grabbed that and he brought it back into this realm and they had more than enough the tithe is one way to access this and to prove it a working in miracles now remember Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4 says we're partakers or partners with active partners with the Holy Ghost and powers of the world to come well I've never been an, uh, a partaker of the powers of the world to come this is where we're going first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 8 for to one is given by the Spirit who's the Spirit the Holy Ghost for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by a different spirit no by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healings by the same spirit to another the working of miracles who's doing this working of miracles Holy Ghost who did the working of miracles for Jesus when the loaves and fish were multiplied Holy Ghost look down at verse 11 it says but all these worketh that one and self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills so if we're actively partners with the Holy Ghost we have access to this one gift of the Spirit which is the working of miracles all these worketh that one he's working it he the one that's behind the veil is working this the fact is behind the veil you get to know him and when you get to know him you've got it all all of these worketh that one when you get to know him you get it all you just don't know who you've got verse 7 but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all the manifestation of who the manifestation of the Spirit is he able to manifest multiplying power from the world to come it says that's what he does it's a manifestation of the Spirit the Holy Ghost that most people don't know because they don't know him they haven't received him in the way they should be receiving him therefore they can't know him and his gifts as a power of the world to come it's a manifestation of him if you knew him you would worship him because you'd know him as God frankly if you would worship him as God you begin to know him and that veil would be taken away worshiping him takes you behind the veil into a new manifestation of him worshiping him takes you behind the veil into a new manifestation of him and of the word of god and of the powers of the world to come worshiping him takes you behind the veil into a new manifestation of him and of the Word of God and of the powers of the world to come I could probably say that another 50 times until you get it but you'll never get it listen until you begin to worship him there are things that he will not reveal to you things you can't bear until you receive him and frankly you haven't received him you've received something else worshiping him as God takes you behind the veil into a new manifestation of him a new manifestation of the Word of God you get a brand new Bible and powers of the world to come this works 
this works other things don't work this is where you need to go this is where you need to be walking and knowing the living God walking with the living God knowing the living God who is the Holy Ghost in the earth today he is the promise that Jesus talked about when he was here said he would send Holy Ghost is the promise and all things listen all things are in him all the manifestation say the manifestation the manifestation of all the promises of God are in him all these worketh that one first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor tr or, or trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy all things say all things how many things is that that's a lot of things now if it's anything that you have or need in the earth it's gonna be come through him the living God that you're trusting in living God who is the Holy Ghost gives me gifts me my walking with actively partnering with the living God gifts me richly all things the new manifestation of him gifts me richly all things am I getting this across knowing him in this new way gifts me richly all things there's a new economy a new way of doing things a new currency frankly that we use in this earth that supersedes everything else living God gives me gifts me richly all things to enjoy would that include a living him gifting me a living or living of course that's part of all things Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and adds no sorrow with it the blessing of the Lord who will it have to be the blessing of the Lord my God the Holy Ghost it makes rich and adds no sorrow with it makes the blessing of him knowing him seeing him for who he is makes me something I wasn't before rich and adds no sorrow with it see the blessing is not based on the old economy or an old currency it's the blessing of him that makes you rich which means it's not dependent on the economy it's not dependent on politics it's not dependent on any worldly circumstance or situation it supersedes it just like heaven is not dependent on a worldly economy or the multiplication of the tithe is not dependent on a worldly economy or circumstances so the blessing is not based on an old is the blessing based on the economy trust not in uncertain riches but in certain riches a superior form of economy a superior form of currency comes from him the blessing is not based on an old economy or an old currency the blessing is based on the power of God the power of the world to come it supersedes all of those other things these blessings I hope you're hearing this these blessings of course they come from the Holy Ghost right these blessings these promises are things that are not abated by circumstances they're not diminished by situations they come from heaven they contain that DNA that comes from heaven that recreates itself in your situation there's no power that's stronger than them there's no power or situation that's over them them what the promises of God and they're unhindered the Bible calls them sure 
promises of God they work every time if we learn to work them in fact 2nd Corinthians 1 20 says all the promises of God are yes and amen well they're not yes and amen in my life well that's what we're talking about come behind the veil where the Holy Ghost is God taste the good word of God tasting means that you have it in your mouth and you start using the powers of the world to come all of the promises of God are yes and amen all of the promises of God every one of them contains the creative power of the world to come to bring itself to pass in your life how about the healing promises of God how many sick people are there in heaven is there the whole invalid section no they're all healed there what happened a creative miracle took place when they got there but all of the promises of God contain that same creative power of the world to come the Bible says we're made active partners with the Holy Ghost taste the good Word of God and I rest my case the powers of the world to come that's what you're doing when you're partaking with the Holy Ghost and you're an active partner with him I'm an active partner with him and I taste the good Word of God and the powers of the world to come in my life we are partakers with him we're active partners with him and creation didn't stop for me say that creation didn't stop for me it's still going on creation is happening in my life creating all the promises of God yes and amen so if you've been here for a while you know that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and the number one way that we walk with him in the earth is by saying words speaking in agreement with his word that's tasting the good word of God and as we're speaking in agreement with his word what do we begin to do partake of the powers of the world to come so you got to ask yourself what kind of life do you want or what do you want in life and then those are the things you put on your lips Proverbs 18 21 death and life are in the what power of the tongue are you getting this so what do you want in life you have to have that on your lips this is your new currency and I'm bringing people into it I hope you can hear that say I'm being brought into it this new currency this new economy but you have to see your way clear you have to say your way clear a lot of times you'll have some situation that's up in front of you it seems insurmountable you don't know what to do you need to taste your part your remember you're an active active partner with the Holy Ghost you're gonna taste the Word of God which means you're gonna put the Word of God in your mouth and you're gonna keep it in your mouth until you see your way clear until the powers listen the powers of the world to come come into your situation you're gonna do it until the powers of the world to come come into your situation I'm gonna do it until the powers of the world to come that's me being an active partner with the Holy Ghost so you're gonna see your way clear you're gonna speak your way clear the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying words speaking in agreement with his word and that leaves an entire wake of the powers of the world to come in my life and in your life now the Spirit of God would say to you I've sent my angels out 
to you to minister and they're waiting for you to speak my words and as you declare forth my words I will begin to have them do things for you that they've not been able to do up till now so don't be silent but continue to speak forth in agreement with my word and you shall see the miraculous power of the world to come happening in your life and all around you thank you Holy Ghost now listen I've been sent here to tell you these words and if you will come with me I will take you into these places let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people have heard this word and caused them to come up and to come forth and together we shall go into the great things of God in this day and in this hour and we shall be partakers with you partners with you in this end time with the Word of God and the powers of the world to come now if you have a tither and offering of which I have many hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I bring my tithes my offerings to you I thank you the right now the miraculous miracle working power is coming forth from the windows of heaven into my financial situation and great things are beginning to take place I give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus name the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth to 